NVIDIA's CEO believes AI will make humanoid robots and automated driving both common technologies. How the AI giant plans to scale its factories with co-packaged optics to advance these developments. Release the Kraken, the acquisition one U.S. marine technology company is making that could help expand underwater LiDAR. And Intel's new CEO wants to change the chipmaker's approach to AI. But its other comments from the new top exec are sparking intrigue with employees. These stories and more on Photonic Spectra Now. Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by LaCroix Precision Optics. Custom precision optics and assemblies built with integrity from quick turn to high volume. Visit LaCroixOptics.com to learn more. Hi, and welcome to Photonic Spectra Now, covering your top headlines in the world of photonics. I'm Joe Kaczynski, a senior editor with Photonic Spectra. At a global artificial intelligence conference in California, NVIDIA announced plans to adopt silicon photonics and co-package optics to scale its AI architecture while also cutting back on power consumption. During his keynote address, CEO Jensen Wong introduced the new Spectrum X and Quantum X silicon photonic switches. The fusion of electronic circuits and optical communications is said to allow for the scaling of GPUs connected with 1.6 terabyte per second pore switches while improving energy efficiency. Among those comprising NVIDIA's silicon photonics ecosystem are partners Coherent, Lumentum, and Corning. Wong announced that General Motors will use NVIDIA's AI chips and software for its automated vehicles and to approve workflow in its factories. Over the past month, NVIDIA stock has taken a bit of a dive, dropping more than 20 points. Execs hope that these announcements could help stop the skid. A major development from researchers could lead to a shift away from the most commonly used amplifiers in communication networks. Scientists led by Tobias Kippenberg have developed a photonic chip-based traveling wave parametric amplifier that achieves ultra-broadband signal amplification in an unprecedentedly compact form. Using gallium phosphide on silicon dioxide technology, these new amplifiers can increase the power of an incoming signal three times greater than a conventional erbium-doped fiber amplifier. With greater demands for high-speed data transmission, these amplifiers can have a major impact on boosting data center and AI processor performance as well as in high-performance computers. Marine technology company Kraken Robotics is acquiring 3D at depth. The US-based subsea technology and services company specializes in high-revolution LiDAR imaging and measurements for underwater applications. The deal carries a cash value of $17 million. Kraken Robotics president and CEO Greg Reed says this deal builds on Kraken's expertise in subsea optical systems and expands offerings in subsea sensors, batteries, and robotics designed for marine and underwater use. Rocket Lab USA, a provider of launch services and space systems, is entering into an agreement to acquire a controlling position in Mineric AG. The German company is a provider of laser optical communication terminals for airspace and mobile applications. The initial purchase price is just north of $75 million. Rocket Lab has already invested more than $300 million in Mineric to date. Once completed, the acquisition will strengthen Rocket Lab's capabilities as a launch provider and create a new foothold in Europe. ASML and IMEC are partnering to advance their research and sustainability. The five-year R&D deal will focus on the development of semiconductors and other innovations for sustainable innovations. Using ASML systems installed with IMEX pilot lines, they'll work to create high-end nodes to build out infrastructure for the international semiconductor ecosystem. Hamamatsu has just completed construction on a new factory in South Korea. Executives with a photonics company say this facility will boost their production capacity for semiconductor analysis and help expand its global sales. Full-scale operations are expected to begin later this month. And there's a new chief executive at Intel. Lip Bhutan has been named CEO of the American chipmaker. His predecessor, David Zinzer, will remain with Intel as Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer. Reports are that Tan wants to reposition the company to better tackle AI. He also hinted at cutting jobs, saying he's prepared to make tough decisions moving forward. Have news you'd like to share or suggestions for our team? You can send any story tips, questions, or comments to video at photonics.com. Give us a like and click that subscribe button in the corner for all the latest videos from Photonics Media, and be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. Remember, you can always find more details in these stories and everything else happening in our industry by going to photonics.com. I'm Joe Kaczynski and thanks for watching.